People are using F YouTube to raise all sorts of issues, like Andrew's gripe with Origin Energy's solar panel credits. To actually get my hands on the money, each time I get the credit, I need to send them an email with my BSB and account number requesting that they transfer the money across. They can't do it automatically for some reason. A more suspicious man would suggest that maybe they're doing it to keep the money themselves. Very cynical, Andrew. But before you shed any tears, Alan Young's noticed that Kleenex man-sized tissues are now 13% smaller than they used to be. Alan didn't actually make a video about that problem, presumably because he's too upset. But Mr Problems himself, Sam Simmons, has stepped up to the plate. This complaint goes out to Kleenex. Now I'm a man, I bloody produce some fluid. <laughs> can tell you bloody that. Just, just bring back the bloody man tissues. And then Sam made some other points. So this is uh, known as a orichetti. Orichetti, which I'm pretty sure is not even a real word. It should just be called like pasta half cups or something like that. Just something that would, you know, I can understand. Why would you not in this day and age? Do you, do you, do you write fagioli on a can? Thanks, Sam. We'll pass on your concerns. Okay. Uh, go again, Jules. Thanks, Sam. We'll pass on your concerns, but for what it's worth, Kleenex tell us that the reason for man-sized shrinkage is that even people who like big tissues want smaller boxes. Still, pointless gendering and mysterious product downsizing are real consumer issues, and they're ones we'll be coming back to on the checkout. So if you see some examples, please send them in. But now, some updates. Two weeks ago, we featured Alan Jarman's F YouTube video about Jetstar credit card fees. The credit card charge for each $9 ticket was $8.50. We were a bit critical of Jetstar then, but tonight we want to praise them. Because soon afterwards, Alan got a very charming personalised email from Jetstar saying, Dear Alan Jarman, your Jetstar travel voucher is attached. With compliments, Jetstar Airways. What a top bloke no reply voucher is. Sure, he didn't actually address Alan's issues, but a $50 voucher's not bad after a $70 purchase. Alan very kindly let us see what he might buy with his voucher. And thanks to Jetstar's Friday Frenzy, a $50 voucher can get you return flights from Melbourne to Sydney for three people. Well, almost. That's actually $54, so after you enter the voucher, you just have to pay $4. And what's the credit card fee for that $4 if you use a visa? A mere $51, or 1,275% of the value of the credit card transaction. Since Alan got the $50 voucher, though, Jetstar sent him another one for $300, which should at least cover their credit card fees. Jetstar sent a very friendly reply to us, too. It says, we actively encourage our customers to use one of our free options. And I agree. A system that charges $51 for a basic credit card transaction certainly does encourage people not to use it. But did they answer the question, what relationship do Jetstar fees have to the actual cost of credit card transaction? No. Or does Jetstar think its credit card fees are reasonable? Nope. What about... Is Jetstar complying with the Australian consumer law prohibition on misleading representations about the price of services? <laughs> what do you think? How about this one? Why does Jetstar charge a credit card fee per person per ticket when in fact there's only one transaction? They say Jetstar does not have a credit card surcharge. We have a booking and service fee for some bookings. So there you have it. That surcharge -y kind of thing that Jetstar slugs you with if you use a non-Jetstar credit card is actually a booking and service fee. And that's why when you make one payment for three return tickets, Jetstar charges the fee six times. There's a word for that. Scam. That's it for F YouTube for another week. Please send us more contributions. They're all welcome, no matter how big. Get your f***ing act together, toothpaste manufacturers of Australia. Or small. You're serving sizes of garnish. Too much. Like, I only need that for the day, but I have to buy, like, a large packet of herbs.